We are going to be doing the event. The event, Ozzy. Can you hear Paimon? Paimon, please, shush for once. Take a walk around Sumeru. But I want to catch Pokemon. Game, I want to catch Pokemon. Let's catch some Pokemon, baby. Huh? There's a new bulletin board here. And it has pictures of... Fungi on it! Interested in capturing Wilbur Heat Fungi and getting up close and personal with them? Want to try commanding Fungi in combat and experience the thrill of defeating powerful opponents? Excited about forming your very own Fungi team and facing off against other beast neighbors in an action-packed battle? Look no fur- This sounds like Ito, dude. I swear, it's gonna be Ito. The first ever Nila Pot- Nila Power, uh, Cup Beast Tamers tournament is about to begin. We are just waiting arrival. All you have to do is set up the door and give it a go. Uh, bang over boards away. Okay, that does- didn't sound like Ito. I do think, though, I think it's- I think the- the person from afar is gonna be Ito, for sure. The way that, uh, the way that they, uh, announced the person sounded like it was gonna be Ito. Training fungi to fight each other? That's a very unexpected mode of entertainment. Fungi are monsters! We can't let this go ahead! It's way too dangerous! Paimon, no it's not. It's really not dangerous at all. Let's go check out the tournament. If it's as dangerous as it sounds, at least we'll be there to stop things from getting too out of control. The most fantastic tournament you've never heard of, question mark? What a weird quest name, dude. What a weird fucking quest name. Oh god. Oh. Welcome, contestants, to the Nilud Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Kautilia, a senior Amorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. Well, hello. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But at the same time, you may well have some concerns about the safety of this tournament. Worry not, the wisdom orb we've developed exclusively for this event makes use of Amorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. Ah yes, the wisdom orb. It's absolutely reliable and safe. So please cast your reservations aside and enter the tournament with confidence. I, I don't know how I feel about this, dude. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Scarlet and Violet early access. to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen, a renowned businessman from Fontaine who has generously provided a grand total of 60 million mora for our prize fund. What the fuck? And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying out Mr. Elhingen's philosophy by passing the ultimate trial, he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. Uh... The only other condition is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilut Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament in the future. Whoa! Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million mora at this event! That's a Just lot! That. And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune if you promised to keep his beast taming tournament going? Paimon, we're not doing it. Also, hosted by an academia scholar, huh? Oh, pretty official. I uh, might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. We should take the orb so, and take um, part. Why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thingy actually works? You know what I would love to try? I would love to try and throw it at Paimon and catch her and just keep her inside it. Uh, Paimon, you just want to win the prize, buddy, don't you? <laughs> no, that's not it. It's just, uh... Now that everything in Sumeru has finally settled down, mm -hmm. don't you think it'd be a little unfair to Nahida if we keep picking trouble with the Academia? And he sounded really confident. Paimon's curious about how this mysterious fungi taming device works. And what if it works really well? What will you do to the fungi? Although they've caused this trouble in the past, the fungi aren't just aggressive monsters, right? They're more like wild animals with bad tempers. Hmm, kinda. Since there's no longer any safety concerns, we don't need to worry. Maybe we can even try becoming friends with the fungi. Paima thinks that would be fun. Besides, if we do well in the tournament, we'll be able to earn some extra mora. There are basically no drawbacks. Okay, we're definitely not gonna win this tournament because there's no show how you were gonna give us 60 fucking million more. So who is gonna be the 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 random person that wins it? It's gotta be the the person from afar that they said is coming, which could just be this guy, but I doubt it. Didn't they say from Inazuma? Yep, that's the way we roll. Hmm. Looks like we sign up over there. Come on, let's grab a wisdom orb and enter the tournament. Hell yeah. Did they say from Inazuma or did they not? I can't actually remember. Monka W. Bear for. Huh? Looks like the people.
people ahead of us are still signing up. Let's wait our turn. Okay. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So, you're competing too? Huh? Huh? You know us? But what's with those names? We've never heard them before. You're a tough duo if the posters are to be believed. Some mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. She has a cool ass voice, dude. She has a cool ass voice. It's it's very breathy, but I like it. Uh, Paimon doesn't know whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state the beast tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons or uh, even fight each other directly. Oh, smudge. Your impeccable combat skills won't be any use to you here. Who are you? The tournament is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. I will be the fungi master. We've never captured a fungus before and wouldn't know anything about how to get them to fight. True. Wait a second. You don't look like a staff member. What are you lecturing us for? Who are you anyway? The name's Ania. I used to work for the Aramites, taming grumpy sumpter beasts. I don't know who this I is. I with a reputation for being a beast tamer, so they got me involved with testing the wisdom orb early on. Anyway, my name ain't worth remembering. I'm just an illiterate nobody. All I'm good for is doing odd jobs for Aramite mercs. Just think of me as another contestant. I do have a lot of experience taming beasts, though. Want me to teach you? Uh, you want to team up with us? You guys are worth me getting to know, as allies or opponents. Because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Oh. Of course, I prefer allies if possible. Well, that was blank. <laughs> quite honest. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's better to have an expert teach us than figure everything out on our own, right? Ugh. What do you think? Should we take her up on her offer? I think it's a good idea. All right then. Take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated area. She gets right to the point, doesn't she? Hmm. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. Oh god. This is where you'll capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the wisdom orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. Okay. The wisdom orb can capture and store fungi. It also serves as a controller. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. <laughs> For example, this one next to me is Pyro One, which means Pyrofungus Number One. <laughs> Very creative Did name. Go after elements and then number them. Hmm, seems kind of boring to pine mine. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it Bouncy Happy Shroom? Why am I the best at coming up with names? Uh, I also have some suggestions if you're interested. Uh, thanks, but uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them, and I'm gonna stick with it. It's okay. simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. Fair. Yeah, you're probably used to calling it Pyro One anyway. All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. Hell you yeah, dude. <sighs> probably will. Can we name them anything we want, chat, or do we get do we have like options? Options? That's so stupid, dude. Why? What's the point? Yoink? Is that it? Wait, I thought it was gonna be harder. Can you just do it? Like <laughs> it's gonna be so much harder, dude. Okay, this fungus is super tall and can use electro. Now, what shall we call it? I think Tingle Shroom is a good one. What about this one? Bongo head, bongo head, or bongo head? Chat, which which name should we give it? Pymo remembers an idea she had from before. Let's call this one bongo head. Bing bong, bing bong. Oh, how does bongo head sound? Mm, no matter how many times Pymo thinks about this, bongo head seems to be the right name for it. Four, 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 four. Pymo's a fungi naming expert. Every one of these will sound really cool when you call them out in the arena. The name you should come up with for the second fungus. All three suggestions were the same. The round hat on this little guy's head kind of looks like a drum, don't you think? The first thing that came to Paimon's mind when she saw it was, if you hit it on the head, it's definitely gonna go bing bong. Hmm. How does the name bongo head sound? Yeah, definitely, definitely looks like a drum. <laughs> yes. I think Bing Pong is optimistic. Probably more like Squelch. Look how happy it looks. That means it likes the name. Okay then, Bongo Head it is. <laughs> oh, 
What the hell, dude? Aww, Bongo head's just like a little puppy. Am I petting it? Hyman's never seen this side of a fungus before. Hoyavas, there's absolutely no fucking chance on this God's green earth that you let us pet a fucking fucking fush room, fungus mushroom before you let us pet a fucking animal, right? Like a dog, right? You're rubbing it in our fucking faces at this point. I swear oh, to God. Come on. We need to look out for each other, Bongo Head. Cringe, dude. Okay, let's go catch some more fungi and make a team for Bongo Head. I'm down. Fuck it. We're taking the fungi to fight the dogs. Three. I really thought. It was going to be harder to uh, to catch them. Stout waist, hard hat, or crasher basher? I'm torn between hard hat and crasher basher. I like both, but I think I like hard hat more, not going to lie. Pickending, cool shroom, or cool it? <laughs> cool it! <laughs> yeah, we'll go with cool it, dude. Easy. Easy. Great. You've now collected all four fungi. Jesus, she scared the me, The next lady. step is to use the floral jelly provided by the organizers. To I'm connecting to chat again. Pog. That way, they'll be able to unleash powerful skills during combat. Hyman can't believe we're making progress so quickly. It's all thanks to your help, Hania. Yeah. All right. Teach your hydro pump. The arena now. Okay. Huh? Look, someone's staggering along with a fungus <gasps> running circles around her. Uh, is she being attacked? Huh? Oh. She's collapsed. Let's go see what's happening. Is this the first time we see Layla in game? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I can't go on uh, to week. Okay, Chi Chi, calm down. <laughs> what is this mushroom doing? In? Watch out! Ira one, take it out! Oh my god! Wait, it's not an enemy. It's my shroom buddy. Oh god! I'm just. Just a little too tired to walk right now, but I still need to find three more shroom buddies to qualify for the tournament. She reminds me a lot of Sayu, dude. Shroom buddies. You mean you're a contestant too? I wasn't counting on running into other contestants here. Maybe this is the end of the road for me. <laughs> Twirly Whirly on its own is no match for you. Twirly Whirly. Look after Twirly Whirly for me. Take him with you to the top. <laughs> hey, don't give up. It's not like we're a bunch of Aramites trying to steal your fungi. I, I uh, your shroom buddies. That's so cute. We're better than that. That is so cute. We hang in there until we're in the arena, so we can compete against each other properly. True. Hania over here is a professional beast tamer, and despite knowing that we might be her fiercest competitors, she still gave us lots of help and advice. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Hell yeah, take it as a compliment. Paimon's really getting into this. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Really? Then, could you please help me collect the rest of the four shroom buddies I need? Uh, does this mean my luck is finally starting to change? Um, uh, my name is Layla. I'm just a student in the Ritawa's Darshan, so I don't have any impressive titles or anything. And my goal is to, uh, uh this is to weird. make it into the quarterfinals. All is weird. I, I don't know how I feel, chat. Okay, hear me out here. I'm, I'm going to give you my, my total first impressions here. I think Layla's an incredibly fucking cool looking character. I really do. I feel like this voice is a little too much for her. Sometimes she sounds great. Sometimes she sounds fine. But then the times when she's really, really, really breathy, it's like, uh, it's, it's just feels like a little too much. I think that I think the voice is fantastic. I think the direction is weird. Oh no. If I can make it to the quarterfinals, I'll get to take my shroom buddies home and delegate some of my physical labor to them. Uh, uh, of course, I'll take good care of them too. Because I feel like the, the the direction is making it sound monotone when it shouldn't be. Because the times when her actual voice does come through, it sounds great. Oh yeah, Pina read that in the rules somewhere. All quarterfinalists get to take home any fungi of their choice. Just my opinion though, I don't know. Like, what do you mean physical labor? You're a student, shouldn't you be busy with 
coursework and writing papers? This is pretty embarrassing, but, uh, uh, so I must have some sort of congenital sleep disorder or something. A what? Because I can never seem oh. to get enough sleep. <laughs> and I'm always really low on energy. That's what I get for paying half attention. The smallest amount of exercise makes me... <sighs> well, God damn it. You saw me just now. I get so tired, I collapse from exhaustion. Same. So when I said physical labor, I just meant basic stuff like moving books around or fetching things I need from the store. Ah, uh, you don't need to be embarrassed about that. It's totally normal. True. Paimon delegates chores to him all the time. First she calls them buddies, then she talks about wanting to live with them. Ridiculous. She sounds just like Elhingen. Elhingen? I wonder what uh, Henny is so annoyed about. Well, looks like you've mastered everything already and moved on to helping others. I'm delighted for you. I'll see you hmm. around. Good luck. Thanks, I appreciate it. Why is Henny leaving all of a sudden? We haven't thanked you or Pyro won yet, Henny! Let's at least go get something to eat together! What's wrong? That beast tamer. Is she... Angry? You know what I think it is? Okay, I, cause I- Oh no, I'm struggling here, dude. I'm struggling. I think it's the slowness of it. <laughs> oh no. Probably not. She's pretty blunt and doesn't make a great first impression. But she's definitely not a bad person. Otherwise, why would she have helped us? Maybe she has something urgent to do. We'll see her again at the tournament. Yeah, we'll see her again. And when we do, let's give her some gifts to show her our gratitude. Her aesthetic's great. I love it. In the meantime, let's follow her example by doing our best in the tournament, helping other contestants, and making sure Layla gets to compete. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. I'll try my best to contribute, too. I don't want to be a burden to you guys. Mm. Nicely done. Now that we put together the ah. team, she should be eligible to take part. Let's head back to the arena and confirm with them. God damn. Imagine how fucking slow a profile voice lines will be. True. I don't think it's. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna get used to it. Let Paimon see how the qualifying rounds are looking. Ooh. Great. We're in a different group from Layla, so we won't have to compete against each other in the early stages of the competition. Actually, hmm. I hope I don't have to fight you guys in the later stages either. Oh, hello there, little ones. It's Yai! So you're at the center of the action once again. You two truly are like the main characters in your own light novel. Uh, Miko, what are you doing here? Is Paimon hallucinating? I didn't know about that. <laughs> This tournament was advertised far and wide, including all the way over in Inazuma. Jesus. They even handed out flyers in front of Yai Publishing House. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Don't you think a tournament like this makes a perfect candidate for light novel treatment? It doesn't seem like a good place to find source material. There were lots of stories you could tell about this. Yai Publishing House is working on a bestseller that, if all goes to plan, will stay a bestseller for the next 50 years. The theme is friendship and rivalry. So we decided to bring our up-and-coming author, Soka, here to gather some inspiration. Jesus. I, of course, need to ensure my writer's manuscripts are up to par. So, I will be taking part in the tournament myself to get a little taste of what it's like. Hell yeah. Here's my little partner in crime. Oh. Soka named it Blitzara. I think it's rather good. That's actually Very a cool name. Distinctive. God damn. I knew there'd be such a big turnout. Even Miko's here. Pretty pog. Soka, come say hi to the little ones. They're set to be some of the fiercest competition you face in the tournament. You should put them in your novel as major characters. She's cute. Wait, this is this is the first time I think we've seen... Is this the first time we've seen, like, a super shy-looking character with the expressions of shy? I know we've seen uh, Sucrose, but, like, she's, like... She, like, the eyes while the f head was looking down? That animation looked new. Yes, chief editor. Okay, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> For the sake of my readership, <laughs> I won't back down. I'll feed... Beat you! Don't pass out. See you in the arena. Yeah! Just because you're with Miku doesn't mean we 
will go easy on you. Oh, God. Oh, yes. More of that. Do you feel that, Soka? Declaring a challenge to your arch enemy in the making before the competition begins is a key plot device that helps build dramatic tension. I gotta say, dude, dude, Yai Miko might be one of the baddest characters in Genshin. Come on now. I, I wouldn't say I'm feeling that exactly. Just, just thinking about competing against Her Excellency's Hanamizaka Tour confidant is making me so nervous. <laughs> I'm losing my, my mind. Hmm, Bless in that her. case, head back to the inn and capture your nervous breakdown in writing while it's still fresh. <laughs> this will make excellent source material too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Yai! She's terrifying, but what she also fuck? seems really dedicated to her craft. I hope we can be friends. Oh wait, oh yeah, you're having a heart attack? Hey, well before you die, make sure you note it down in your notepad so we have some great source material, okay? And who is this softly the fuck? spoken little lady? She's our new friend, Layla. We met her while we were out capturing fungi. Yeah. Layla's entering the tournament because she wants to take her trained fungi back home to live with her. Her goal is to make it to the quarterfinals. Training fungi. I want and Layla to win. Domesticating them? How fascinating. You must be full of secrets. There's an intriguing story to be told here, no doubt. I'm Yai Miko, a light novel editor. Purely out of personal interest, and right now what I'm most interested in is you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, I have no idea how to respond to that. Faster. Traveler, Paimon, I really appreciate all your help. It's but okay. I, I want to get to know my four shroom buddies a little better and prepare for the qualifiers, so I'll go do some training now. Don't put Jesus. yourself too hard, Layla. You'll end up collapsing from exhaustion again. Miko, what are you doing <laughs> scaring a new friend off like that? <gasps> oh, Wait. am I really so terrifying? Well, then, I'll simply have to talk to her again another time to clear things up. That does make sense that they've got Yai Miko at this event because they needed Jesse. They should have also got Ayato for James, did. Oh, shit. Yai, Ayato, blast it off again. But that can wait. Judging from your expression, it seems like you have something you want to say to me, little one. I love you. I mean, what are you really doing in Sumeru? I'm comforted to know that you didn't lose your heads amidst the hype. And you're not just in this to have some fun. Unfortunately, though, it appears that we're about to be interrupted. Oh? Guji Yai, what an honor to finally meet you. We're so privileged that our tournament is your first destination in Oh, Sumeru. she's gonna fuck you up mentally after one conversation, I promise you. Holy shit. And that super rich businessman is here too. Goodness, I presume that the tournament is proceeding very smoothly indeed. Otherwise, how would the host and sponsor themselves have the time to spare to chat with contestants one-on-one? -on -one? True. How you jest, Gujiyai. Though such as your esteemed self deserve nothing short of the most lavish reception Sumeru has to offer. Oh, the Wisdom Orb. I see you've already had the chance to try out the Wisdom Orb. What are your thoughts on the future prospects of this technology? You know, with your blessing, it can be introduced into Inazuma, allowing you to swiftly resolve the situation of them. Um, right now, I am nothing but an ordinary editor-in-chief. I'm here hmm. to enjoy my vacation and gather some inspiration along the way. And if I can at all help it, I'd rather not concern Emerge. myself with such weighty <laughs> topics as the future fate of nascent technologies. Damn it, Jack. Don't be so pushy, Mr. Cautelia. Droning on about the Academia's business ambitions is hardly respectful to our honored guest, who True. has traveled all the way from the land of thunder to Damn. be here. He has a cool voice. Not to mention that Gucci Yae is busy catching up with her friends. I dare say it was both unnecessary and discourteous to interrupt their conversation like this. A most pertinent like this. demonstration coming from you, Mr. Elhingen. You do conduct yourself in such an unobtrusive so manner, there. much Barbecue as you have in your entire titties. career, quietly amassing an enormous fortune while remaining almost BGM entirely law. unknown. What if Yai bumps him to Scara? Uh, Jesus, yeah, that'd be interesting, what actually. To hear such high praise from the great Guji Yai. That would be interesting. More prestige than I could ever hope for. Please, 
Should you require anything at all? Chat, we don't know that he's do still in a coma right now. My assistance. I will do everything within my ability to make your stay in Sumeru an Or how long she's one. staying for. Also, to have the renowned traveler here at the tournament is an unexpected delight. Mm. So I'm very much yeah. looking forward to seeing Barbecue you in action. On my titty. <laughs> Scara played DCG with Zino, please no. <laughs> I'd fucking hate it here. Nico, they're here to do business with you, right? Should you really be turning them away like this? Especially mm. the rich guy? Paimon thinks working with him could have a lot of advantages for Yai Publishing House. Hmm. Promoting an entirely new event throughout all of Tevat so rapidly would be an impossible feat for any ordinary businessman. I, for one, do not wish for Yai Publishing House to be the subordinate partner in a business relationship with him. Besides, the tournament has only just begun. Who knows whether it will go on to be a success. I want to focus on trying to enjoy myself, while keeping one eye open for potential liabilities. Potential liabilities, so you've noticed. Fungi may look adorable, but they carry potent elemental energy inside their bodies, Letting one's guard down around these creatures would be an unwise move, don't you think? Hmm. So it wasn't just us. Yeah, we started out with some safety concerns about this event, but the wisdom orb seems pretty amazing. At least all the fungi we used it on have been very well behaved, like our bongo head here. Seems we don't need to be too nervous after all. Well, oh, you say that on, now. You're just as carefree and enthusiastic as ever. Well, it's about time for me to get into character. As a contestant, I need to go and get ready for the tournament. Okay. See you in the qualifiers. Can Good I get time. ready with you? Say goodbye to our friends. Meet me. Rude, dude. It didn't even say bye. It was a great idea. Look at us making new friends, bumping into Miko. Oh, this competition is shaping up to be a whole lot of fun! True it is. Come on, let's go get some floral jelly for Bongo Head's training, like Mia <laughs> suggested. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does this mean a Yai skin? I doubt it. She's not wearing anything different. Oh, then again, she's getting dressed. That'd be cool. Can you... Uh, no, they'd, they'd have teased it in the live stream. Battle 4. Ah, the champions to be. Here at long last. Come on now. Use the floral jelly and awaken your fungi's true potential. Champions to be! <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. So you've heard about us too? Of course. I was standing right next to you when you collected your wisdom orb. Ah. I couldn't find a convenient opportunity to introduce myself, as Hania was busy explaining the tournament to you. That looks With an cool. expert mentor like Hania, I'm sure you'll become excellent beast tamers in no time. Hell yeah. If even the staff are singing her praises, Hania must really know what she's doing. Well, all the more reason to give I agree, Paimon. Oh, they won, so we have to match this thing on the left, right? Oh, oh, I see. And then again. And then switch. There we go. Oh, now we do the other one. Pog. Nice. Let's go, chat. Let's go. We're five head. This is a cool little event, actually. It, it is pretty good. Kill him. Fuck him up. Pretty pog. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Okay. Wait, headed to the next zone. Oh, Jesus. Yes, yeah, Fungi Abyss. Mat, 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 Yo, Geo One's fucking pog. Holy shit. Die, bitch. Hell yeah, dude. That's really fun. Ah, oh, this is actually really fun. This is more fun than I expected it to be. I'm not gonna lie. Let's try this one. It's time for Pokemon. Oh, easy clap, dude. Day two. Wait, is this it? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. We got a whole ass fucking bracket, dude. The debut match. Oh, yeah. Wait till the next morning, 8 a.m. <laughs> Looks like the qualifiers are about to kick off. Oh, Hingen's giving an opening speech. Oh, hell yeah. Speech me. Ladies beat. and gentlemen. The Nilut Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition. We will. Wish you all the very best of luck. We At the will. Same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. This is just a sport. I'm a fight to the death. 
I have Jesus. spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. Aww. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands show me that it is indeed possible. They royally fucked his mic up, dude. That's kind of sad. You hear the, the insane amount of hissing coming from it? I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need Jesus. a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast taming can help us achieve this. They did this at the Archon Quest as well with someone's mic. I don't know, I, it, like, it's just a little bit of tweaking. Oh, so that's why Ohinian is putting his whole fortune into this. Yes. What an inspiring goal. But Caltelia, on the other hand. Uh. Thank you for your speech, Mr. Elhingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if yeah, I may. Yeah, Candace, it was. Yes, speak to me, Cotillia. Beast tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cautilia, everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. God. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orb and have uh, fun in the competition. Sure, what yeah. A total nerd! <laughs> A time and place to talk tech. Oh, good thing Elhingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. <laughs> what Otherwise, a nerd! Could have dragged on for a long time. Oh the God! Have officially started. It's time to face our first opponent. You know it's bad when even Bymon calls you a fucking nerd, dude. Sino, oh shit. Has this tournament come to his attention too? Oh, my boy. I'm not even fighting Sino, dude. I'm pissed. Fixed lineup. Motherfucker. Why is this one? Is this one scripted to die or some shit? Oh, God, chat. We're going to die. You forgot to catch the new ones? Yeah, well, it didn't show me to catch the new ones. It just said do the fucking fight. So I'm just going to try to do the fight, I guess. The bar for entry so low. Shut Let's up. Go. This is going to be over so fast. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Didn't mess it, Don't bitch. Don't be nervous, Bunglehead. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. Yes. I'm gonna be fine. Easy clap, dude. Easy fucking clap. Okay, keep going, keep going. I need a, I need a feather thing. Wait, that was it. Great job, Bunglehead, and everyone else too. Y'all thought it was gonna fail on that? But how? How can my swift fighting style fail? Everyone, retreat now! Cause I'm better. So much better. Yes, you thought I'd fail on that? That was so easy. That was like going into Elite Four and it being a one. I do want to catch the others though. This fungi fighting is unlike anything else we've ever done before. True, it is cool. It's super fun. It is very cool. That beast Tamer and her fungi work together pretty well. Almost as well as the two of us. How would you feel, chat, about having this as, like, a, a permanent thing here in Sumeru City that you could do for, like, PvP, but with no rewards, just for fun? I think it'd be super sick. Are you saying you want to have to, uh, a try at fighting? Uh, th that's not what Paimon meant. Paimon just wanted to say that our opponent seems to have developed her own fighting style unique to her and her fungus. True. Oh, it'd be great if we were more tightly in sync with Bongohead. Imagine if we could just look at him and he'd know exactly what to do. That would be amazing. That's why it's so important to develop close connections with your teammates. No reward, none of my time. See, I love that, but then I'm going to be totally honest here. I feel like if that's the mindset with playing the game, you're not even playing the game at that point. The game is playing you. <laughs> Early Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Oh god, Layla. I knew it, they'd knock the opposition out. When I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. Oh, Jesus. 
What is it you need to discuss? Grieved through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. Oh. <laughs> My opponent was a frightful bore. Was it Goro? Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, True. what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Very true. Why don't yeah. we keep up the momentum from our respective first round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Okay. Good idea. I like the sound of this. Get ahead of the game. All right. Guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock. Let's get to it. I'm down. Pipe is very smart. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Okay, we gotta go to the training location. Will this teach me how the to catch view more? The here is wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Hell yeah. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Also, I just want to say this because I had the idea last night, Chen. I wonder if in the next patch or one of the next patches the wanderer is going to tell us about the full sky or whatever and the reason we're getting another kind of astrology character is because Leela's going to help us like uncover the full sky or like find out secrets of the full sky Yay! Snack time, snack time. and it makes sense wait a second aren't we here for training though or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi ah uh? What? <laughs> Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. She made weed brownies, Perhaps did? You thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. I agree. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. And if all the traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send mitochondrials flying, <laughs> would you gladly comply? Buffmon. <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Oh God! Oh, Paimon will, Paimon will ignore you for three days. What? No. Yo, that sounds like a fucking good deal to me, dude. All right, we're trying it. See, you and he have a very strong bond, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy for him to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Probably not. Well, when you put it like that. Yeah. Smooch. Miss Yaya is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the wisdom orb is turned off. Or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. Yeah, it takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. True. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. Twirly Whirly. It makes me pug. feel like I'm giving orders. Oh. Ah, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. That would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? It's worth a try. Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't little worry, Layla. the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Little Layla. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm, I'm gonna do it. Do it. Please don't turn against us, fungi. Look at that. Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before. Uh. Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. Interesting. If this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Damn, that's interesting. That's right. Forget fancy schmancy technology. The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship. Jesus I'll do my Christ. best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's life.
likes and dislikes than buy lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. <laughs> Rhino wants to get to know the real bongo head, too. Let's try deactivating our wisdom orb, shall we? Yeah, then we'll get a keyblade as well. Poggers did. Watch it just run away from us. Uh, What makes the wisdom orb so effective? Is Cordelia in possession of some great technology unknown to other scholars? Hmm. Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shroom buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. As long as I don't have a pyro shroom, careful. sure. Don't get too close to Blitzaro when you're knee deep in the water. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> from, from the, from the, from the fungi, right? From 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 the from the, from the, from the fungi, right? Bongo head is a floated hydro fungus. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Paimon almost forgot. Should we let Bongo head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Okay, fair. Oh. Okay. Fair. Meet you back here later then. Wait, we're leaving. Have a good time. We're leaving Layla and Yaya together alone. Oh no, dude, that's a fucking terrible idea. That is a, a terrible. We can do whatever you want to do. Just let us know. Paimon will probably understand you. How? Uh, why isn't it responding? Oh, guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. <laughs> Help! Help me! What the fuck? Something's Hello. Not Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help. Uh-oh. Hurry, let's go check it out. It's a child. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. Oh, it's Hania. Oh. Oh, no, it's... <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here to help. Hania? you saved the children? Yes, she did. I happen to be nearby. The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. That's so dangerous! Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? It's hardly their fault. Hmm. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once, too. <laughs> they are cute. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured. So I kept my distance. J are they People that dangerous? Used to be under an illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit Paula cup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. Jesus. Okay, okay. The tournament's been too popular, become too popular for its own good. In trying to solve one problem, it's created another. I'm putting an end to this debacle. First chance I get. I love that word. The wisdom orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament. They'll be mine to do with as I please. Hania, what the fuck? Debacle! Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro One! Don't you care about its feelings? Please don't turn evil. You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks. You're clearly enjoying the event. I'm quite certain Pyro One would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. Ah! But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. Okay, question here. She's an Eremite, right? Or am I stupid and is that completely wrong? Didn't she say she was an Eremite? Yeah, and also Eremites have done some pretty fucked up fucking things in the past. So, using her logic, doesn't that mean all Eremites should also be exterminated because of the, the, the past mistakes of their kind? You don't make no fucking sense, Hania. Let the fucking fungi be fun. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. What, Celestia? Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. What the fuck? Wait! Don't go! We turned off our Wisdom Orb just now, and we were playing with the fungi and everything! Jesus. Looks like she's made up her mind. Oh my, such a standout personality. 
And with the perfect dose of obstinacy. Oh, God. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. Why do I feel like Yaya is going to fucking zap, zap, zap? Nico, Layla. Oh, you heard the cries for help, too, huh? Yeah, <laughs> she's we Gary from Pokemon. About her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament. But after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Hmm. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. Yeah, Smooge, dude. Smooge. She takes the wrong path because in her eyes, it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. Yai's got a really good way of explaining things. I feel like Yai should take over Dainsleaf in narrating the collective miscellanies. So we don't get another Nilu. <laughs> Not as in another Nilu character, another Nilu fucking explanation, dude. Holy shit, that made my brain work overtime for like three weeks. Since she's had some bad experiences with fungi, she definitely has her reason. No, bad experiences. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment. But some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature. Just like any other wild animals. True. The fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off Shit. suddenly. That's also true. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures. No matter what Hania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to. Yeah. You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you. But I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? Yeah, I'll use that big electric sword that I used that one time and never again. Uh, we'll keep bonding with our fungi and train harder. That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Yes. Wait, did you know all this was gonna happen? <laughs> huh? It would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. Interesting. Today's training ends here. Why'd you look the at Layla so funny then? For now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages. I agree, I think. Monka? Hell yeah. If you have not hit it, a lot of characters are gonna be broken. Over there. Are they looking for something? Oh god, that is a lot of people. I heard Four. That the organizer set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. Sus. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trolley Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. Hyman thinks that's a great idea! You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. Where did Yai go? You're the one providing yourself with the information. You can write whatever you want. That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritawa Hills, Darshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorta Darshan. Mm, different disciplines, worlds apart, but maybe one world's trash is another world's treasure, and Paimon's gonna be like, Oh, treasure? Yeah, we can provide the information Never mind. to the Maybe sell it to the highest bidder. Wait, no, royalties! Trade royalties! Close enough. Mara is a secondary consideration, but I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorta students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trolley Whirly's kind likes. True. If I can narrow the search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. I won't have to buy hundreds of different things and get Trolley Whirly to try them all. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me want to pass out. God damn it. Layla, that's an amazing idea. Please get them to look into what Bongo Head likes too. She's going to pass out from the uh, uh, amount of work best. to do. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. I'm going to be honest. Okay, yesterday when I first heard a voice, I thought it sounded a little uh, slow. I think my biggest issue with it was that it was it was uh, slow and the sentences seemed to take a while. I think it's really fitting of a character and I kind of like it now. I don't know. I think it just needed like a day to adjust to it. I, I kind of like it. 
Uh, Sino... Wait, what? Sino subordinate? Does that mean he's observing the arena? Little one, the pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Yeah, she does have huge eye bags, but she's super tired. She's always tired. She's just like me, for real, huh? for real. We'll be facing Soka next. Huh? Oh, I've been looking forward to this a lot. Uh-oh. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishing House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please. Do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. Oh, Jesus. After all, a life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. Yes, Mom. Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. I'm down. Oh, God, dude. You don't want Mika was your boss ever? I mean, never say never, you know? Day three. We are going to do the rest of the event. Let's go. Progress and probe. Wait, what are we probing? Isn't this guy pretty similar to Hadiya's Pyro 1? Let's be sure to give it a cool sounding name. We got a few, a, a new fungus. Time to give it a new game. Once you decide on it, you won't be able to change it back. Retribution Room. Hmm, how about Retribution Room? Oh, Paimon's hoping this won't threaten our ability to order grape juice ever again. <laughs> That's so fucking good. Okay, what is this? Oh, fixed lineup for this one. Fuck it. Let's go. All right, let's give this a go. Come at me, Traveler, Pokemon Master. Paimon, this day has come earlier than I had expected. I'm gonna beat you. My apologies, but my so writing good. career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes. I can't allow you to beat me. I'm gonna become the Pokemon Master after 15 years of being a 10 year old. Don't get too cocky, Soka. We won't go easy on you. Mm. Yeah. Let's go. Go for the dendro when it's healing. Go for the dendro when it's healing. This motherfucker, dude. I can't believe it. I lost. Oh, I feel That's bad. It. I actually feel kind of bad. that the guests of Tenshukaku have powers beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. She did not just refer to us as the guests of Tenshikaku, right? Is she talking about us? The world-renowned traveler? Archon-defeating traveler? Region-saving traveler? And she referred to us as the guests of Tenshikaku? <laughs> God fucking damn it. Oh no. Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty <sighs> hard. Miko said it was fine not to look back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. Nah, she won't be mad. Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. Come on, Bongo Head. I think Put on your best guilty face. Okay, I'm gonna be honest here. I think Miko wanted her to lose. I think she expected her to lose and wanted her to lose, not to humble her per se, but to uh, see how she uh, goes in the in the face of adversary. You know, like she said earlier, a writer goes through many trials and tribulations, and it's all about how they handle it. Yeah, to make her grow. Which I don't think is a terrible thing. Every, you, you, you've got to fail to succeed. That's that's my model. At least a lot of the time. Miko, we're sorry. It was all Bongo Head. We didn't know it would take Soka out so quickly. It wasn't Bongo Head. It was the fucking hard hat. Uh, Paimon, I'm the beast over here. I should be the one who's responsible. Oh, did she look crestfallen? Yes. And say something melodramatic like, Beyond the reach of mere mortals? Then curl up on the ground and start wailing. Yes. yes. To all of those, actually. <laughs> oh, you know it really well, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's better this way. Soka will turn this experience into valuable writing material. She'll be able to portray the protagonist's journey with all the setbacks they face along the way much more compellingly. Huh. It will resonate all the more with readers. I thought so. As for how to flesh out the villain, dominating, ruthless, but brilliant, and ultimately victorious, the inspiration will have to come from you. So don't go getting yourselves knocked out of the competition by some second-rate wannabe, hmm? Dominating? Uh, I'm the villain! I don't know if you heard in the in the Tavat mail, but uh, what is our face there? <laughs> what? <laughs> it looks like we're about to sneeze. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, wait, he actually says I'm the villain. <laughs> I just want to be dominated by Yai. I am the villain. That's a conversation for another time. Oh, Miku, please ask Soka to go easy on us when she writes us into the novel. Hell no. Layla, did, did you take a nap? <laughs> what the fuck was that cough? <laughs> Are you... Did she just fall asleep? Oh. Layla, what? take it easy. Don't go fainting on us. Are you good? I'm all right. So I wrote to the Amorta students, and they were really keen. I got a reply with the information I needed within just a few hours. I've tried making a few different snacks for Twirly Whirly based on the information they gave me, but it didn't seem to like any of them. Mm, maybe I used some of the wrong ingredients or something. She's precious, so dude. Then I made a new, improved list and also included ingredients that might suit Bongo Head's taste. Ah, I didn't go to bed until way past midnight. <sighs> So, I'm a little out of breath today. I do love how the fact that her not getting enough sleep makes her, like, physically tired, like, out of breath and stuff. That's insane. How'd you get the results so soon? That was super quick. Lack of sleep explains the tiredness, but not the breathlessness. How's it going, my little Layla? Oh, never mind. Have you been teaching your opponents a lesson? Yep. Thanks for taking us training, Miss Yai. Trilly Whirly is way more obedient now, and it reacts so quickly. I'm actually kind of envious. Uh? But the opponents have gotten stronger too. So, the pressure is on. I gotta train with Trilly Whirly some more if I want to have a shot at getting into the quarterfinals. The problem is... I'm also planning to visit the Almighty Merchant at 7 in the morning tomorrow <laughs> to buy all the ingredients I need. <laughs> oh, that's no problem. I'll join you with your training session, and we can leave the little ones to buy the ingredients. They're quite the experts in running errands. Fuck you, Yai. Oh, sounds like you two help out Miss Yai quite often, huh? We sure do. We love helping Guji Yai, because if we didn't... <laughs> Don't worry, little Layla. Huh? You're just apologizing to me for defeating Soka. Go buy yourself a nice drink, take a break, and catch your breath. Okay, thanks. The music's so good. You guys are the best. This is the address where I arranged to meet up with the Almighty Merchant. And here's the list of ingredients. Please don't be Dory. Oh, it's gonna be Dory. Again. Fuck, I forgot we got her in this fucking quest, dude. Hey, it's our pleasure. You helped us look into Bongo Head's preferences, remember? Glad we can return the favor. It is gonna be Dory, isn't it? Shit. I forgot we got her as part of the event. <laughs> as for the potential liabilities we didn't have time to discuss earlier, one good place to start might be the fungi power up materials. Uh, floral jelly? You know something about it? Why, this is the most exciting subplot of the novel. The secret investigation. I'm sure you must be curious about where the magical powers of the wisdom orb and floral jelly really come from. Besides, if we fail to uncover what's really going on in this tournament, we simply leave Hania to her own devices. Who knows what chaos might ensue? Hmm... This is suddenly sounding super complicated. Paimon isn't really following. I suggest that you act just before sunrise, while most people are tired and resting. You may find some important leads. Interesting. Interesting. Did you really take Miko's suggestion? Well, it's literally what we signed up for, <laughs> for the sake of harmonious coexistence with our shrewd buddies. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's wait until early. Tomorrow morning and go check out the fungi power up place. I sick. Don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not under suspicion or anything. We just want to make sure everyone stays safe in this competition. Yeah, true. It is important to be safe. Safety first. Wait until early morning the next day, 3 a.m. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Dory! It still looks like regular floral jelly. It's right out in the open for everyone to see, and they've even put the recipe on the table. 
But even if they added some special ingredients, most contestants wouldn't suspect a thing. Hmm. Well, it's not like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the Corps of Dirty. True. Oh, but we do have a camera. How about we take some pictures of the flora jelly and its recipe? At least then we'll have a record of all the important information. I mean... Sure? Question mark? That, that makes a little bit of sense, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, that is what I had to do. <laughs> you locate the flora jelly and camera and recipe and take the photo evidence. Okay, Pog, huge. Done. We should ask an expert to analyze these photos, but we're kind of running out of time. Uh, let's go buy Layla's stuff first. Pog. Oh, it's you. Uh, I'm you. Oh, God. You hold yourselves to pretty high standards coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. I still don't know how I feel about her anymore. Yeah. We need to talk. Your plan you told us about last time, it's way too yeah. extreme. I love her voice, but... Save your breath. I don't think if I like her. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. <sighs> she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like mm. this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. The only way we can persuade her is to do it her way. So let's fucking do it. All We're right. gonna kill that drill mushroom thing. Come on, Bongo Head. There's no time to move. Technically, we also have the upper hand, right? Because water should be effective against fire. <laughs> Wait, is that how it was? I forget. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, God. It sounds like a real Pokemon episode. It does. She's the uh, the rival, the brother or sister. Do you, is the one with a sister? Or is it always a brother in Pokemon? Don't forget to play the Pokemon theme every now and then. Ah, yes. What are they doing? You're just staring at each other. This is awkward as hell. Speak. Say something. Breathe. Blink. Or do none of the fucking above. Okay. Sorry, Black Clover. No, I don't do account reviews. If you don't see it in someone's title and they're not actively doing it, try not to ask. It's kind of weird. Where we should be meeting the Almighty Merchant. Well, Dory, where the fuck oh, are you? Oh, God. The on your faces tell me you're searching for the Almighty Merchant. Yes? Oh, welcome, welcome. Oh. Yeah. How did you know? Wait, Dory? So you're the Almighty Merchant Layla mentioned? Yeah. Why? Oh, so surprised. Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. Well, what Almighty have you got for us? Supreme, omnipotent. These and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. I gotta say, I really do think her VA does a fucking stellar job, dude. Uh, guess Paimon should have known. Dora's VA is so good. Back to business? I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer tournament, hmm? Sounds like you two get along pretty well. You know a lot about what's going on. <laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Layla previously bought a few things from me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but it was still a lot of mora for a student. So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. So you know something about what's going on? You have any intel? Mm -hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far no takers. Hmm. They're also taking up space, so I think I'll just give them to you. I don't um, trust that. This is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes. I do not trust that I'm in the slightest. This is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy. Oh. But they were careless. Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. <laughs> sure it wasn't you, Dory. Now that takes a closer look, this looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly. And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb. Are uh, they made rare they candies? Were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miku take a look later. 
Maybe mm. she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. They're making rare candies and moonstones, dude. I think we can safely assume that there's something suspicious about Cortelia. Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But Paimon still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. Oh. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what. You just said for free, just motherfucker. A 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. Shut the fuck up. Why, you sneaky little... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no one gives a hoot about these items except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Show me a Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stacking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. She's gonna scab Layla, dude. That's a relief. I thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain. We couldn't afford that price even if we won the top prize. This Layla's all the less, bro. She's gonna send debt collectors to Layla for this shit. Hmm. Flour mixed with Matsutake powder, a vintage jam, Zaytun peach juice? Is this really the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? It is interesting. How's that even gonna be? Paimon still feels kinda uneasy about all this, but we don't have much time. Let's continue Paimon. with the competition. Paimon, you literally eat slime. Shush. Whirling cryo fungus gusto frosto. <laughs> what the fuck did I just read, did? Okay, motherfucker, you are about to go down. I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Now, prepare to witness the power of my all cryo fungi team. I literally have two pyro and a fucking giga chad. What is your point? It's not even all cryo. You have one electro, you dumb fuck. Hot hat, go! Impossible. How? My team has been defeated? Yes. That was a hard one battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bungo Head. <laughs> then it wasn't even an all cryo team. What the fuck? Hot Hat was like, I will have order. Yes. Hot Hat is basically Jungli's ball meteor. Found it, Millie. Traveler Paimon. Oh, hey, Lilo. I saw you guys made it to the next round. Yeah. Congrats. We did. Maybe we'll have to fight Layla. She's going to be hey, the grand Layla. champion. You're looking well today. And Twirly Whirly looks really happy. Guess you won your last round too. It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Mm. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. Also, the Almighty Merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Oh. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. Hmm. Cute, My dude. Stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miko go? She left to see Sino. I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Oh. Also, I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Corps of Thirty. When I returned to the arena. They were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Maybe she has work to do. It does get busy at Yai Publishing House after all. Nico has been putting a lot of time into the tournament lately, so Paimon wouldn't be surprised if she had a lot of chief editor work to catch up on. She also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. The mercenary was probably just their tour guide. We shouldn't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest here. HJ is right. HJ said, I'm sleepy now because of her. She is cute, though. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel about Layla. Listen, I struggle with sleep anyway. I'm running on like three hours of sleep today. I'm very fucking tired. She is making me even more tired. It's kind of crazy. The quarterfinals are coming up. <laughs> to me, this is the most important round. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but let's all do our best. I'm down. Yeah. We got this. Uh, we've all done really well to come this far in the tournament. Keep it up, Layla. We mustn't let gods down either. We need to strike a balance between competing and investigating. Right. 
We have to stay vigilant. Okay, let's take some photos of the items we got from Dory to add to the ones we took this morning. We'll show them all to Miko when we see her next. <gasps> Lova, I'm gonna ban you, you fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Unfathomable defenses. Wait, so there's five acts total? Holy it's shit. Time for the quarterfinals. Our opponent is definitely gonna be a tough one this time. Hardy two blades. Oh no. Stretchy geofungus rock steady. Oh fuck. We'll try this lineup here. This should be good. Giga Chad versus Giga Chad. Hell yes. Alright, here we go. Ugh. It's you. The uncultured swine of the Neelut Pala Cup. What the fuck? Hey, you potty man. Yeah, bitch. The way you don't on your fungi. It's pathetic. The cute. What a joke. You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all. The mighty Hania. Are you jealous because Hard Hat's got a bigger head than you? Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable. We'll set her philosophy straight. You keep telling yourself that. You were never going to come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. I will have to wipe at this floor with your ass, bitch. This guy's fucking strong, dude. Fuck you. Hey, no backing down. We fight to the end. I'm not fucking backing down, pussy. Your thing's got one fucking health and I've got four alive. Are you okay? Fuck him up. Kill. Kaboom. Bitch. No. This can't be happening. <laughs> I trained my fungi non-stop. Aww. Maybe I should have been harder on them. Oh, little piss baby. You gonna cry? Maybe shit and piss? <sighs> well, we beat him. But somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. Yeah, no, me either. I'm in the mood to fucking teach this guy a lesson. Let's do it. <laughs> I will have order. <laughs> what a little bitch, dude. I don't like him. Traveler. Oh, hello. Paimon. I made it through. Yo, she's kind of cracked, dude. That's amazing, Leila. You reached your goal. Congratulations. I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How huh? come? Hey, did the fungi just go off with, on a date with each other? What was that? <laughs> they just left. What is that? Oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. You tell Layla the details of the match. I see what you mean. Yeah, the somehow beast teamers like him make me feel a little uh, sad. Sad? Yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like based on a vague impression and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. And he's, also, he's so I don't know. cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. It's not just his loss either. It brings all the other contestants down. Right. I can understand that. You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. No. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. Oh, that's, that's so cute, dude. Oh, Bruh. It looks like the next fight is you against me. Oh, fuck. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins. This is just a little contest between friends. You have a deal. All right. Time to see who's the strongest fungi. Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head. I want Who's Twirly Whirly to win. Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? I want to lose. I want Layla to win. You're back! Finally! You stepped off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... Um... Um... <laughs> <laughs> evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, Hell well, yeah. it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. Oh? I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. Oh, fuck. I'm Are we sure going to fight Yai as well? a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Oh, she's up against Hania. Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. 
Look on the bright side. Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania. But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves. <laughs> Whatever, Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose. Yeah. That would be catastrophic, I fear. Participate in the semi fucking finals? Oh, Jesus. Layla with floating animal fungus, twirly whirly, dude. Oh, God. Uh, the dendro shroom kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. I think this could work. We'll try it. If it doesn't, we can change it, but uh, I don't know. Unless we just lose, in which case, I don't mind. I wouldn't mind losing to Layla. Dendro shroom has bloomed, though. Uh, I'm feeling nervous. Does it? In this? I don't remember. At the same time. You don't have to go easy on me. Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges oh God. already. And they know how to put up a good fight. I'm supporting so Layla here. You your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly. Oh my God, we just did a Pokemon pause. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Okay, suck it in. And then suck it in again. Huge. Oh, this is easy, dude. Oh, dude, this is so fucking easy. Holy. I'm so sorry, Layla. I thought you put up more of a fight than the last guy, but... Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought she said, oh, shit. That would have been the... <laughs> That would have been the best time to introduce cursing at the Genshin, dude. You beat her in Pokemon and the tired lady goes, Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but you and the gang put on oh. the best show I've seen so far, Twirly Whirly. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was a real blast. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, she's so cute, dude. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang any other opponent and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now but we were definitely beaten by the best yeah we are the best no you one ever was well you know mm -mm 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 -mm. but like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo to catch their enemies by our real test to trade the best just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win it was a good feeling uh perhaps this is how all competition should be if only could be as carefree as that. Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her. Let's go see how she's doing. Okay. I wonder if Yai won. Or if Hania won. I think it would make more sense if Hania won. But I don't think Yai would take defeat very well. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll see, right? Oh, God. She doesn't look happy. <laughs> Oh, maybe she does. Uh-oh. Hania doesn't look happy. Huh? It's over already? And why is the atmosphere so heavy? Uh, does this mean Miko won? This is very Monka. I don't your think she won. Is over too? I don't think she won. You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. No. You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? <sighs> <laughs> yes, ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I to be beaten by Hania. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she looks, she looks defeated for the first time what? ever. You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? Wait, huh? <laughs> far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination oh, then? I see. I look forward to finding out. Even she gets a redemption That's arc, poor guy. Not your concern. <laughs> Everyone, you get a redemption arc. Running you get so soon. <laughs> you get a redemption. Arc. Everybody gets a redemption arc. But why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, uh... and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. Deceiving herself, defenses? It seems pretty obvious. She doesn't actually hate them and she's built up a bond with this fucking fungi. You mean, 
Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be. So she does care about Pyro One. Yeah. But she didn't mean to show it in front of you. Yep, exactly. Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. What, by fucking up Pyro <laughs> What again? Now? Where should we look for her? Well, right now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. To pee! The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? The bathroom? That's a good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Layla, it seems like you're onto something. Oh, it was on like the beach. Let's catch up with Hania and set things straight. Was it on like the beach place or near a lake? I can't remember fully. What's happening? We're going to pee in a lake. <laughs> you should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Hania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Aww. Leave it to them this time. Yeah, leave it to us. We That's got this. true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again... I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, if I tag along, I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Well, hmm. what are you waiting for, little one? <laughs> Paimon's out of here, dude. Holy shit. Hey, keep going. Keep, keep, keep going. <laughs> this is everything we've dug up so far. Please take a look and see what you think. Oh, my. You've been busier than I thought. I have. I In return, you... I give you a blessing Dude, from oh me. my god. Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet. Bro, I thought she was gonna spank me with that thing then. I got a bit excited, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, sheesh! Okay, listen, if, if Yai Miko came up to me in real life and was like, I'm gonna spank you with this thing, what am I gonna do about it? She's not even that hot. Ban. No. Unmod. No. Unwork for me. <laughs> Unjobbed. <laughs> Wait, what's the word? Fired! <laughs> I can't think of the word, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you just got unjobbed. <laughs> Everywhere. We should be able to track her down through its elemental traces. I'm tired. The area with elemental sight. Leave me alone. I'm fucking dying, dude. Am I not right though, chat? Wait, right about what? What about Yamiko not being that hot? Listen. Okay, who do you think is 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 incredibly hot then, Bob, out of curiosity? I'm genuinely curious here. Yelan? Okay, Yelan is. Who else? Hazel? Hell no. Hazel's cute, maybe, if anything. You put this and Yai next to each other, and you say this is hot and Yai is not? Even he's disappointed. What the fuck? Nah, listen. Different strokes for different folks, you know? Different strokes for different folks, I guess. How did you find me here? Uh, I followed the elemental site. Pyro One's tracks. We're a little worried about you. Wait a second. Are you... Comforting Pyro One? Yup. The irony, I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. <laughs> the next time we meet, we'll be in the finals. That's fungi. -ist. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. We want to understand where you're coming from. We want to help you see the fungi differently. The fox lady said you might say that. Yeah. You're pure of heart, kind, and believe the best in things. Yeah. Sometimes. You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So here. Read this. Uh, what is it? Oh my lord. Merchant Lock Expedition number 39, day 10 of the Fungi Invasion. Thankfully, we came across a group of farmers in the nearby area. They seem to have been trapped here by the aggressive fungi too. And they set up a temporary camp. Uh, the kind farmers brought sufficient provisions and medical herbs. It almost saved us all, but there were still several people who did not make it. The fungi surrounded this area, increasing in number, and they are still in that berserk state. We can't leave just yet, uh, at least not before the fungi are gone. 
if they ever leave. Looks like I'll be staying here for a good while. I never thought I'd become trapped by a bunch of fungi for so long. I still can't see any hope of getting away from this place. Rabid took his axe and made an attempt to go fight the fungi, but he was stopped by the other farmers. Everyone knows that none of us are going to last long without the leader of the farmers around. But if the circumstances are enough to make the calmest and most composed farmer lose his cool, I can only imagine what the others feel. Everyone must be feeling pretty frustrated by now. The Satan peaches we picked from nearby areas and the remaining provisions are going to last a few more weeks. Following the farmers' suggestions, we started looking for suitable seeds to grow our own food. And the camp needs an expansion. We have to make plans for the long term. We might eventually have to turn this place into a small village. A village full of fungi victims? How absurd. Hopefully, we'll manage to keep ourselves from starving to death before the crops mature. These are my ancestors' records. They were attacked by a horde of fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. Jesus. There was nothing exceptional <laughs> about this incident at the time, and it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi posed to us. So, that's what happened. Oh, no wonder you're so hostile towards fungi. We're sorry about your past, but things are different now. Yeah, and anyway, doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The Wisdom Orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together. Mm -hmm. It's not as simple as turning bad fungi into nice fungi with the Wisdom Orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. What is a point but of them? Every one of them failed, gave up, and moved on. Even this new Wisdom Orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. On top of that, the orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental mm. energy in one place is not a good idea. I agree with Especially that. Especially for people in poor shape already. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a wisdom orb, you're going to start experiencing symptoms pretty quickly. Oh, th th dude, this is starting to sound like delusion shit. This is starting to sound like delusion stuff. Uh, unnaturally strong? Wait, Layla's been coughing a lot lately. Could that be because of the Wisdom Orb? Uh -oh. As you'll be well aware by now, all Caltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Al Hingen's taking advantage of the situation. Impressed by Caltilia's research, he invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary, so who's gonna listen to me? Mm. All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for, and keep them from getting their way. Jesus. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. Fuck no! I guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this, or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you, and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. Honey, uh... This notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi. Including Pyro One. No, you're not. You're almost crying saying that, motherfucker. Be real. You can understand it's you. It's time to say goodbye to the past. Okay. Goodbye, past. Hello. Stupid fucking idiot trying to kill fungi. <laughs> Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat Andy in the final match. I agree. Andy, thank you for the 27 months as well. Definitely new here. Uh, at least we got to know how she really feels. At least we got a notebook. Didn't Hania mention something about other researchers in the past trying to stop the damage caused by fungi too? There should be more information in this notebook. Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh my god. They severed the investigation. The researchers seem to be planning to use this capturing device to control the aggressive fungi. The coding of the device is a string of complicated terminology. They've also included a license of approval from the academia. In addition, they're preparing something called the withering potion to suppress the fungi's activity, making them easier to control. The withering potion also came with complex notes and official approval from the academia. Anyway, I'll record the information down now. Bottom off this page is filled with complex terms and comments. Okay, I can't read it. Day 13. We failed again. When we returned to the village, two seriously wounded mercenaries insisted on quitting. Before going to bed, I heard the lead researcher arguing with a few subordinates. One of them tried to convince the lead researcher to give up on the withering potion, saying that they had gotten its function wrong from the very beginning. The outcome contradicted their expectations, and it could very well lead to their deaths. Another subordinate was yelling curses at an unfamiliar person. Judging from the details of the argument, it seems like someone has made a grave mistake. They're here to settle this mess, but upon witnessing the state of things, they start planning to drop everything and run. Something doesn't feel right, but I still need more evidence to make sure. These look like research notes. Yeah. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Whew. This section looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many technical terms. Paimon can't make heads or tails of this. Definitely take no Some of these look familiar. 
familiar, though. Oh, that's right. We saw oh. them in the document the story gave us. So the notes of the documents are connected. Let's try putting everything Father, together. Let's put them side by side. Oh, Go no. through carefully and try to figure out what's written in these notes. Don't make me read them again. Fuck. <laughs> Contents compiled after combining the clues. The device remnants of the remains of the files that Tori gave you contain the same license of approval as the device recorded in the notes has. What? Evidently, these devices were considered technical, technologically identical by the academia. Similarly, the formula for floral jelly shares many basic ingredients as medicinal principles with a withering potion from the notes. The only difference is that the amount of certain added ingredients applied to the floral jelly is much lower than that of the withering potion. Also, protective ingredients and so-called stabilizers were added to the floral jelly. At this point, it can be roughly deduced that the remnants of the instrument that the organizer of the Nilopata Club Cup Beast Tabus Tournament attempted to destroy utilized the technical. Fuck me, dude. Utilize the technological outcomes of the capturing device. And the floral jelly can be seen, deemed as an upgrade of the withering potion with enhanced safety that can trigger a temporary boost of the activity of fungi and let them gain some special powers while being activated. A capturing device and a withering potion? That just told us everything we already knew, didn't it? And then Paimon's <laughs> reiterating again. The device used to capture the fungi made them calm and approachable. You could have just gone with that. But the withering potion made them go berserk. So that's how it went down. The fungi only attacked Hania's ancestors because of what that potion did to them. And then the researchers built that device to try and capture the angry fungi. You know, I I am starting to realize now the more the more events we get and the more stories we get, it really does hit home just how much Paimon repeats everything we've just learned and how many times. And I genuinely think you could probably cut down like five or ten whole minutes of this whole event if she just didn't. It's getting really fucking annoying, dude. Also, if Laura Jelly is just an improved version but this of bit's the fine. The previous bit, no, we don't need it. And isn't Caltilia's invention either. He's basically giving someone else's invention a new name and passing them off as his own. He's a big fat liar. Hmm. She repeats for people who don't read. She repeats shit that people have just said. Never mind fucking reading. I think if people aren't listening to what somebody said and they skip through, they're just gonna skip fucking Paimon as well. Like, think about the fucking, the, the, the last, uh, what do you call it? The, the Golden Apple Archipelago. Let's be real, not everyone reads. It's not just the reading parts, guys. It's not. Think about that Golden Apple when we were having the full-ass conversation with Fischl and Mona on the beach and then Paimon repeated everything in two whole paragraphs. It, it's not just reading, it's in normal dialogue too. It's just not needed a lot of the times. It's just because it becomes more apparent the more the more often we get updates, I think. The big fat liar indeed, although I can't say I'm that surprised. Why is Caltilia so eager to get people to use their wisdom orb anyway? I don't know. Maybe he wants to finish the work started by scholars that went before him, but more likely he just wants to take credit for other people's work. We gotta warn El Hingen. He needs to stop bankrolling Caltilia right away! As for Hania, she has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. Mm. No wonder she holds it against them. That makes sense. You good, Paimon? And fucking bloaty head, whatever you're called? What was that? What the fuck? Oh, don't fuck? worry, Bongo Head. Paimon <laughs> knows you're not gonna turn evil because of some poor had the R &R walk. You stayed a very good fungus even after we turned off the wisdom orb. True. Oh, he's happy. I, I hope Whoa. we can keep this one. You can understand what Paimon's saying? Oh, wow, you're getting smarter. Uh, wait, the wisdom orb isn't active. didn't even notice. Wait, <gasps> huh? Does that mean Bongo Head is hanging out with us by choice right now? It's had a good experience with us so far. We've gained a mutual understanding. See? See? Hania was wrong after all. The fungi aren't gonna lose control this time. Some fungi understand people and just wanna get along. Like Bongo Head here. It's like the story of Ash's Charizard, dude. No Pokemon Master can trade me. Boop, 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 boop. And then suddenly, pew, you hit like level 26 or something, and it's fucking tamed. Oh, Hania did make one good point, though. The wisdom orb has its limits. As long as that's the case, fungi won't be able to live with humans forever. Mm. Oh, Paimon was really hoping Bongo Head could join us for the rest of our journey. Isn't there a way? Yeah. Uh, let's keep a safe distance from them. Now, let's look for ways to improve the wisdom orb. Aww. Yeah. It's a shame, but it seems like there's no other choice. Yeah. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Caltilia to the academia? 
Uh, we don't know what he's capable of. We also don't want to let him know what we're, that we're on to him. True. For him to have made it this far, he must have been planning for a long time. If he caught wind of our plans to expose him, he'd definitely be wary of us. Yep. Whatever else happens, we have to give it our all on the day of the final. Let's beat Hania and knock some sense into her. Then we should get Ohinga to help us expose Keltilia for the fraud he is. Agreed. Yeah. Okay, final quest time, baby. Let's go. Let's do this shit. Yeah. Ready? Today's the big day. The Nila Tapala Cup final. Jesus Christ, Paimon. We have to defeat that fucking yawn. Don't let that happen again. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh. Ladies and gentlemen, after some fierce competition in the round so far, we arrive at long last at the final of the Nilut Pala Cup. It's time to find out who is the very best beast tamer of all. Honia? Or the Traveler. It's the Traveler. If the, the final round makes it through the ultimate trial, they will acquire my entire fortune. It will then be their responsibility to continue hosting this tournament into the future and to promote the philosophy of peaceful coexistence throughout all of Tivat. I want Hania to win. And I wanted to realize that the shrooms aren't bad. This is our chance. After the final match and the ultimate trial, we'll go tip off El Hingen and confront Cantilia head on! Yeah. Nico, Layla, you're here! Cheering us on, let's go, dude! You bring Miku and Layla up to speed on your conversation with Hania and your plan for today. Much as I expected, the insufferable research maniac has exposed his true colors to our two protagonists. You seem to be edging ever closer to the truth. Holding off on reporting Kautilia to the Academia seems like a sensibly cautious decision at this stage. Who's to say if Kautilia, or indeed anyone else for that matter, mm. is really who they appear to be? Don't say that, you freak. We can't afford to let our guards down now. We gotta fight Hania first, the strongest beast tamer out there. And we still have no idea what we're in for with El Hingen's ultimate trial. Oh, how are we gonna get through to Hania, though? Beating her. The answer should be quite obvious by now, surely. Yeah. Beating her. Take all of our fungi and defeat her fair and square. Force her to let go of her stubborn attitude and listen to the truth. I believe in you guys. I know you'll be able to get her to come around. Hell yeah. Uh, thanks for all your support. Ah, uh, yeah! Bongo head, truly really a Pizarra, the tightest power trio in all of Shroomdom! Yeah! With powers combined, winning this final will be easier than taking a radish from a hilly churro! Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. A radish from a hilly churro? That's such a weird fucking comparison to me. Fuck, they're all locked? Well, I guess we kind of have to go... This guy. Dude, I'm, I'm not bringing, I'm not letting fucking Hard Hat sit this one out, dude. Hard, Hat, Hard Hat's been with me since the beginning and Hard Hat is giga Chad. Hard Hat's gonna carry us yet again, chat. 100%. The day has finally arrived, Traveler and Paimon. Shut up, Hania. I warned you not to get emotionally attached to the fungi. You have to treat them as your pawns. You were comforting yours an hour ago. it seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. You're the one that needs to change. We'll show you. Yeah! When we send Bongo Head and Buddies into action, it's like clockwork, and we ain't about to stop ticking. <sighs> Time to show you how a real beast tamer fights. <laughs> feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One! Pyro One's about to fucking eat dirt, dude. Oh, this is sad, dude. Yeah, this is just sad, dude. Holy shit. Boom. Don't worry, Pyro One. They're about to reach their limit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where about. Yep. We're about to reach our limit. Yeah, this is this is very clearly us on the fence right here, lady. See? Oh. Pyro One, why did you hold back? You're the one giving the orders. Pyro One's become more than just a pawn to you. Don't blame Pyro One, Hania. And don't force yourself to do something you don't want to. You started having second thoughts when Pyro One got injured during the semifinals, didn't you? Yes, she did. You never met a well-matched opponent until you fought Miko, and now us had you. So you never had to put Pyro One or any of your other fungi in danger before. 
When you saw one of your fungi get injured for the first time, you realized you felt compassion for it. Compassion? You really think I feel anything for these fungi? Yes, it's painfully obvious. Ania, <laughs> you grew up listening to terrible tales about Fucking the hell. horrors of fungi. Paimon completely understands how they made you feel. But that doesn't mean that you should just treat a buddy who stands by you here as your arch enemy. You won't be able to lie to yourself forever. Mm. We fight off fierce fungi all the time, and we always used to think of them as monsters, too. The whole reason we entered this tournament is because we didn't want fungi causing any trouble. But after meeting Bongo Head, we realized that if you just give them some time and treat them well, the gentler fungi will get to know you and treat you like their friends. At the very least, That's treat so fungi cute. like they're on your side. Not as your pawns, and certainly not as your enemies. Please, learn to trust Pyro One and your other fungi friends. This is cute. Why does this sound like a fucking campaign, dude? Say no to prejudice. Treat your fungi right. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's true. It just sounds very blunt about it. Enough! Don't patronize me. It does sound In patronizing. This match isn't over yet. What? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I fucking beat you. Huh? What, motherfucker? In fucking round two? I, I actually feel bad. This is awful. I've already killed one of them. This is just sad at this point, dude. This is just fucking sad at this point, Jen. It's bullying. I failed. Just before the most important step of all, I failed. You failed a long time ago. You two. You were the only ones who could stop me. But how when your mindset is so childish? We'll show you how. Then you'll finally understand. Hania, as we agreed, you have to hear us out now that we've won. But let's put that aside for now. Can we bring Pyro 1 along for the ultimate trial? Pyro 1? You want to take it with you? Yep. We want to pass the ultimate trial with everyone's fungi side by side. Oh, God. Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, and Pyro 1. We'll earn the rights to all these fungi. We'll make sure they're all properly looked after. Yo, capitalism, let's go. We're going to own them all. I your notebook that day after we spoke to you, and it cleared up a lot of things. You're right to be concerned about the dangers of fungi, up to a point. Wisdom orbs come with health risks to some people. This tournament shouldn't have been promoted so widely, and there are limits to how closely fungi and humans can coexist in general. Yeah, true. However, by making constant improvements to the wisdom orb and using it for friendly communication with the fungi, we can figure out which are the nice ones and gradually learn more about them. Paimon's right for once. If that's what you want. I lost, so I don't get to call the shots. And I guess Pyro One would rather be with someone who actually cares about it. Oh, that's sad, dude. You should care about Cheer it. Cheer up, Hania. I'm sure you mean a lot to Pyro One. Uh, we have more important stuff we gotta tell you after the ultimate trial. Regarding your ancestors and the truth behind the fungi attack. That's right. You'll see things differently after you know the story. Paimon just knows it. I just had to say, oh, what fuck a magnificent off. duel. A battle between competing philosophies as well as a showdown between two top beast tamers. Jesus Are Christ. You? What are you doing in the arena? Why, I'm here to witness the final duel and the winner's spectacular performance in the ultimate trial. How could I possibly miss such a milestone moment in this tournament's history? Are we going to go against him in the ultimate fucking thing? Come now. Traveler, Paimon, it's time to prove yourselves. I have no doubt that you'll play a significant role in bringing this tournament to a whole new level. I think we're going to invite him. You follow El King to the location of the ultimate trial. Where the fuck is this? On the stage? Ah. What's going on here? Why are the Fatui everywhere? Don't say that, you're a fucking fun guy. The arena's been taken over by bad guys. We'll deal with them. Get yourself to safety. Wait a second, where is the exit? No shot there, his fucking Pokemon. The arena hasn't been taken over by bad guys. This was all part of El Hingen's plan. The Traveler is correct. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? In which case, I presume you planned for this eventuality, no? Okay, yeah, this means it's canon now that the Fatui are actually just evolved shrooms. Wait, this is all wrong! Isn't this the ultimate trial? Kaltui is supposed 
supposed to be the villain. He was just using this tournament for his own agenda and he tricked you into sponsoring him. Nope. Hmm. Not far off. You're right about Cautilia's motivations. This started when he discovered a promising use for a forgotten technology. So I bought his loyalty and organized this tournament to expand the reach of his technology. Though I must say, I never expected a prize catch like yourself to take the bait so eagerly. Not as eagerly as you're confessing your crimes. You can continue your confession in jail. So, you weren't being fooled by Cautilia. It was you using him! This whole time you were just another lousy Patilly! Yep. Ooh, now Paimon's mad! So much for warning you about Cautilia! Finally, get him! Oh, look at you! <laughs> I've got chills down my spine. But I'm afraid that's not happening. Oh? Oh! No! Whirly, whirly! What's Zara? Hyrule won! What's going on? He caught my fucking Pokemon! That's Cautilia against the rules! added a handy little back door in the wisdom orbs. Since I ah. send the command, all fungi under their control report to me instead. But our good old fucking friend isn't under its control. A back door? So, this whole tournament... It was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture fungi for you! And now you're gonna make them all into your evil minions! Very impressive. <laughs> you hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few mm. times, build up an army of fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. You have to understand, this is a huge opportunity for me. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, left because of you, will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. You know, I hated you up until this moment. I understand simping for Dottore, so it's fine. Uh, you worked for Dottore before. But now, I think I might go one step further. Yo, third base Getting with Dottore? would be doing a major service for all the Fatui. From the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> oh, this could be a career making moment for me. I'll finally earn Master Dottore's respect. I hope you actually get to fight him. I say it was a <clears throat> tragic accident. You placed too much trust in the fungi, tried to push past the limits, and ended up causing the whole arena to collapse. Nope. With you still inside. Once this domain sealed off, no one will ever find you. I'll have Cautilia assume all liability and criminal charges, then inform the Academia. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament in the name oh of honoring your memory. He's smart. He's got a good idea. I'll promote it harder. The competitions will be bigger and more frequent. Evil. Paimons are just about enough from you, mister. You'll never get away with this. Like, what are we gonna hmm. do? You don't have any weapons on you, and our shroom buddies won't respond to us anymore. It's every man or shroom for themselves. I have faith in Bongo Head. Bro, you sending up a fucking hydro shroom against three other mushrooms, four fucking Fatui and a psychopath man. Are you fucking good? Take your time. Pit fungi against fungi, and warriors oh. against warriors. I want the Traveler to see his buddy being destroyed. Then, once his faith is utterly shattered, put him out of his misery, quickly and painlessly. I accept mm. that our actions thus far have not been uh, beyond reproach. Oh, shut up. At least up. we can give the Traveler the ceremonious final farewell that they deserve. Shut up and let me whoop their asses. Fuck. Am I really supposed to fucking do this, dude? I was gonna say that's gonna take so long. He's fine. There are too many of them. I mean, true. This isn't right. 
I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydrofungus. Why is it still obeying the traveler? Because it loves is us. device malfunctioning? Sure. Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. Oh shit. The technology in the wisdom orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, but all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers and the bond they now share have grown stronger than the wisdom orb. This might just be me, but I've only just noticed this now. Usually when characters blink, it's pretty static, but when Yai blinks, do her eyes have the bounce effect? Yai, See if it shows again. I'm sure I just saw you that. broke the domain ceiling spell? <laughs> Please. Blink. You thought your crude replicas could keep me out? They do. You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Not to mention that shuttle. I've never noticed it in other characters. Command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Hmm. Curses. <laughs> Elkinjin, you Nico, fucking pussy. Mira, and Hania too. Oh god. Oh, hang in. Shut a change so of heart. This is all you're doing. Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambitions are the true menace here. Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them. Hell yeah, Layla. Easy now, Layla. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. I mean, true. But Zara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? Oh, she's blessing it. Oh, shit. Oh god, what the fuck? Whoa! What did it just do? It just zapped. Huh? Look! Look, Zara's back to normal! Is oh. this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? Twirly Whirly, I believe in you. Take this crook down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny because she's ill, but it, it sounds funny. <laughs> the back door command is wearing off. They're all returning to normal. Oh god. Still doubting what your heart tells you, Hania? You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. Because then you'll be forced to face your true feelings, which you have been trying so desperately to escape from. Mm. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look, now that it's no longer under oh, the wisdom orb's shit. control, it's waiting for your orders. Hey. one. Are you really waiting for me? It was. Sorry. I've been so harsh on you, but you still trust me. It's like... Uh... Addibles. Go. Do like what dogs. you have to do. Kaboom, well, kaboom, kaboom. One way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses. Great! Shame on you, Elhingen. You're about to pay for what you've done. Yeah. Hold the line. Shut up. And keep your heads they're just a handful of fungi. Oh, we fuck. still have the upper hand. Uh, I mean, they do, technically. Have we really got to fight fucking Fatui, dude? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo, they're taking a lot of damage, dude. Holy. Oh, my God, there's fucking more. Are you serious right now? Bro, where are the fucking feathers? Too many effects. Oh, God. Kill him! Nice. We did it. We're the Pokemon master. Measly fungi. <laughs> This is absurd. Where do you think you're going? Motherfucker, give us all your money. We're robbing you. Nico, why didn't you stop him? This is a robbery. Hmm? Oh, I'm just a tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you too? God damn it, Yai. Still, you needn't worry. He won't escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. She set up a sting operation. Cryptic. Fuck yeah, she set up a sting, I'm calling it. There's gonna be guards just waiting. Uh, it is two leaders, yes. No, what is it? Yeah, weather. Spoiler! Wait, huh? Well, hello. You're from the core of 30! You finally made your move. By order of the General Mahamatra, we're here to arrest <laughs> Elhingen for grave crimes and Kautilia for academic misconduct. I don't know why, but I expected. <laughs> By order of the Peaky Blinder. <laughs> the General Mahamatra has been watching Kautilia closely for some time, 
He's busy dealing with other affairs today, so he couldn't find the time to apprehend the offenders himself. Fair. Thankfully, with all the evidence you gathered, we were able to swiftly bring this case to a conclusion. Good shit, Sido. Sido. When General Mahamatra wrote a letter for the two of you. He looks about as tired as I feel. Oh my fucking god, are you fucking serious? Sino, you fucking wrote this? You know I don't like to read? Fuck me, is Paimon just gonna summarize all of this anyway? Do I need to read this? Okay, I can't read all this out loud, dude. I got, I got a speed read, hold on, chat. Lastly, please say hello to Guji Ai on my behalf. If the chance arises, I would like to spar with her in a duel. I hope she'll not be very against some powerful decks with certain styles. Oh, that kind of duel. I thought they meant fucking fighting. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry. So Sino has been keeping Nerd. an eye on this competition too. He and his people must have been secretly investigating at the same time we were. <laughs> Lucky we had some backup. Yeah. The time it worked out perfectly. We'll leave the rest to you. All right. We'll take the suspects away now. The area will be unattended while we're gone. But with you here, I can put my mind at ease. Hell yeah. Good shit. Good shit. Can we keep Bongo Head? Please. You might think this is over, but mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. You haven't seen the last of me. Oh, Master Dottore. Oh, Dottore. Listen, I don't give a fuck if I see you again, but I know I'm going to see Dottore again. Fuck you, bitch. <clears throat> oh, quit while you're behind, loser. Have fun in prison, you fatui lowlife. Oh, shit, Paimon. Wait. Okay. Simon mentioned that he used our evidence, so... Is that where Mika was going after the last 16? To hand it in and make a report? Oh, please, spare me that look. I didn't sign up for any of this. I'm supposed to be having a nice vacation. But all sorts of vexing issues keep managing to find their way to me. After the round of 16, I simply took a walk around Sumeru City with my editors. I did have a very brief conversation with the General Mahamatra, ah. but only because he happened to be passing by at the time. The evidence you gathered was the key to solving this case. Uh, the more you try playing it down, the more confusing it all sounds. Honestly, kind of true. Um, anyway, now that the organizer and the sponsor have both been arrested, what should we do about the fungi in this tournament? Keep them and the look after them. still stand. These little ones won the tournament and passed the ultimate trial, oh, fuck. which means they'll be taking El Hingen and Cautilia's place. I don't want to run this From thing, dude. So everything stressful. Everything about this tournament will be up to these two to decide. And after all the experience they've gained, I'm sure they are more than up to the task. Hania needs to see things differently. Lady Kitsune told me everything. Oh. The fungi that attacked my ancestors were out of control. Lady Kitsune, eh? Hmm, okay, Everything okay. I thought I knew about the fungi was based on a misunderstanding. I took it all much too far. Huh? True. We didn't get to say anything! Miko, why did you have to steal our thunder? Because you would have just said it three times, Paimon. If by that you mean, thank you, Miko, then you're welcome. Hania needed a little pep talk to perk her up so that she would join us in taking a stand against El Hingen. Mm. How else was I supposed to motivate her? You don't have to say any more. I was too close-minded. I know that now. I kept telling myself the same things, lying to myself until I became numb. But now I've seen the truth with my own eyes. Even without the wisdom orb, Pyro One willingly followed my instruction. It trusted me all along. Cute. I hold my hands up. I was wrong. You're well within your rights to criticize me. And I accept whatever punishment you deem appropriate. Punishment? What do you take us for? Sure, you said some pretty scary things, and you were way too strict with Pyro One, but clearly you've already learned your lesson. See, I don't know. I, I feel like we let people off too easy. <laughs> she was literally willing to commit mass genocide. Am I incorrect by saying that? But she apologized, so it's all fine. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we let people off a little too easy. Just a hey, little bit. Actually, having said that, Paimon <clears> has <throat> an idea. Me too. Death, I'm kidding. <laughs> Everyone discusses the final decision together down to the precise wording. Alright, Paimon's got it. Let's go tell everyone else what we came up with. Victory speech is yours to make, Paimon. Time to put your gift of gab to good use. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Make it a good one. Let's go, Paimon. Ahem. Oh, this is Paimon.
Paimon's first time speaking to so many people from a stage like this. Uh, Five people? Paimon's getting Not butterflies. True, I guess. Oh my god. Paimon and the Traveler are super happy that we were lucky enough to win this tournament and even expose a criminal conspiracy while we were at it. The responsibility for continuing to hold this tournament in the future now lies in our hands. And we're not going to do it. <laughs> now, they may have thrown the organizer and the sponsor in jail, but you can all breathe a huge sigh of relief because the prizes are still being issued as promised. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! -woo! Hell yeah. That's a good call. Very good call. However, unfortunately, the wisdom orbs currently have a harmful effect on their surrounding environment. So they pose a risk to people's health. This means that we won't no. be able to keep our fungi friends around for the long term. So, for the sake of everyone's well-being, over the coming days, we recommend that everyone entrust their fungi into the care of the best darn beast tamer in town, Hania! So that she can use the wisdom orbs and fucking die? What? But you won't be away from them for too long. While Hania takes care of your fungi, we'll be talking to the <laughs> academia with the goal of trying to resolve the current issues with the wisdom orb as soon as possible. Wait, how does that help? If using the wisdom orbs makes them get the whole wither feeling shit and, and seriously ill, why would giving a shit ton of wisdom orbs to one person be any better? And of course, this tournament was so much fun. It'd be a real shame if it was a one-off affair. Paimon's sure you've got a big appetite for more fungi fun and games. Well, I know so they give it to the, the fungi, but it makes no sense. Out, and we're all reunited with our fungi friends. Let's battle it out all over again. It makes no sense that they 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 use the wisdom orb to make it trust one person because that's what it, that's what it said. It tr makes it trust the person, right? Why would all of their fungi automatically just trust Hania? Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. Oh. Unless I skipped out some more. Think of it more as a reward for being the runner-up. Don't think of it that way, Miss Hania. Spending time with shroom buddies is actually really fun. Mm. Right, Twirly Whirly? <laughs> <laughs> Twirly Whirly's cute, dude. I'm gonna miss you, Twirly Whirly. Oh, that was a long screen. Take good care of my best shroom buddy. Oh. Traveler. <laughs> What's that noise? I'm on. <laughs> Layla. I'm Lady Kitsune. What can I say? You're a fascinating bunch. Fascinating indeed. Come on, we announced the official decision with everyone watching. You better look alive. Bro, what is this? What is, <laughs> yeah, what is this worry. order play? I get it. <laughs> As a beast tamer, I accept your proposal. I will do my utmost to care for these fungi and treat them like the treasured companions that they are to their masters. Hell yeah. <laughs> now those sound like the words of an awesome person called Hania that Paima wants to be friends with. Just wish she'd shown us this Hania sooner. Anyway, let's spend some final quality time with our shroom buddies. Then we'll all meet up in Port Ormos. Sick. Sounds good. So we gotta go to Port Ormos. Uh, the autoplay's always be weird, yeah. I understand that the plan is to, to like you just said, the, the, the fungi already calmed. I understand that they're calmed. The thing is, I'm pretty sure in the law that it said earlier with the orbs was that it gets them to trust the one person that is giving them the commands. I don't know. I can't imagine they're not using the orbs. They for. So chat, is the next part of the event voiced? I didn't even realize there was another part. Paimon, coming in. Pa Shut up, Paimon. Oh, it's time for us to go say goodbye to the fungi, dude. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I love the Pokemon here, Let's go dude. Let's Layla first, then Nico, <laughs> and finally, go give our fungi over to Hania. <laughs> my fungi are my new best friends, though. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Hi. Twirly Whirly. Did it just piss? Traveler, Paimon, <laughs> Fungal Head. Over here. Hello, Layla. <laughs> oh, God, the fucking... Okay. Play! Hey, Layla. Have you and Twirly Whirly been having fun these past few days? Oh, Twirly Definitely. Whirly. 
With Jurly Whirly helping me carry my luggage, we could go camping really far away. And I got to see the stars from a different perspective. Oh, I even managed to make some progress with my paper. Bro, I'm calling it, dude. I'm calling it. At some point, Skara is going to tell us about the fake stars and, and the fake sky, and she is going to be the one to take us on a fucking spiritual journey to understand the meaning of whatever the fuck he's talking about. Or, uh, figuratively speaking, not literally. You know what I mean, though. Uh, although, I've tried making almost everything on my food list now. Every time I used to flower or something, it got in the air and gave me a coughing fit. <laughs> But after all that, I still haven't figured out what Twirly Whirly likes. He likes sleep, probably. You doubt? I mean, why else would they bring in another character that is, like, obsessed with fucking stars and shit? You know? I don't know. It would be great if the improved wisdom warp allowed us to communicate directly with the fungi. Oh, oh, oh. I should mention that in my letter and get someone to ask a senior Immortus scholar. True, you should. Raymond's never seen you in such good spirits, Layla. You spoke a lot more than usual just now, and you're still full of life. Hell you yeah. really go the extra mile for your shroom buddies. Uh, uh, I think <laughs> I might have overexerted myself, though. Oh, Jesus. I'm flagging hard. Uh, Let's go see Missy I before I crash. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, you think, well, it's just another aspect of the game. The false guy? I mean, for sure it is, but why does that mean it can't be explained? Oh, you're earlier than I expected. What? Miko, you're not leaving, are you? Probably. Feels like you never got to properly enjoy your vacation here. <sighs> oh, my needs for amusement have been more than met. Thanks to your help, our little inspiration hunt went perfectly. Oh, Pog. Not only did we gain invaluable experience in the tournament, we also had all the excitement of exposing a criminal conspiracy. Yes, I think I might ask Soka to ditch her original characters and just make you the protagonists in her next novel. Oh, shit. Yo, Yamiko's the, the writer for the anime, dude. You were helping behind the scenes. You knew there was something up with El Hingen. El, El, El Kingen, is it? True. <laughs> it all makes sense now. You Robin, calm so down. Hints, but it went over Paimon's head at the time. Why didn't you expose El Hingen right away, though? Why wait for things to escalate like they did? Going for the big reveal right at the beginning would have been an anticlimax of the most literal kind. I wanted to see how you'd react in a situation like this. And you did not disappoint. Oh, fuck yeah. I thought that the story between you and the fungi would follow a master-servant paradigm. But you offered something even better. Companionship. Hell yeah. Based on mutual understanding. From a certain point of view, it seems fitting that Elhingen, the one person who could barely keep the word master from his lips, met his downfall at your hand. Hmm. Of course... Considering what he's capable of, I'm sure he'll have his ways of continuing to put up a fight. Uh, Paimon's getting confused again. In the future, we should take notes when Miko's talking and carefully <laughs> look over them later. Uh, uh, that's enough chatting for now. <laughs> I'll leave with Zara in your hands. Remember to take good care of it. It's like whenever Paimon can't just fully repeat what an NPC says, she has to note it down to remember it, did. I hope you really give this a good shot, you and Hania. The future of this highly entertaining tournament depends on the decisions you make from now on. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us. Oh, we got a lot. We are going to pop the fuck off. Really want Yaya and Tignari dialogue together? I think it'd be interesting for sure. I do think it'd be interesting. Yaya and Tignari will just be angry fox noises. You, you wish you could have seen her and Sino oh, talking? Same. Right on time. Well, hello, I collected Hedia. all the other contestants' wisdom orbs and found a suitable place for our fungi friends to live. I'll make absolutely sure the surrounding environment is not affected. Interesting. Say hello to everyone, Kindle Joy. Kindle Joy? That's Pyro One's new name. When I saw how well behaved it was when we first met, a sense of joy welled up inside me. She's gone soppy, dude. I just dude. let go of my preconceived notions about fungi and allowed myself to truly feel that moment. Maybe I could have felt like that all this time. Oh. I'm so glad Hania has finally worked things out. <laughs> yeah, 
Even though Paimon has gotten used to the name Pyro One at this point, the new name holds so much more significance. Congratulations, Hania. Congratulations to you too, Kindle Joy. Oh, her JP voice conveys emotions better. Who, Hania's? Yeah, but her EN voice conveys the sexual tension better. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, God. Congratulations to you too, Kindle Joy. I will commit to giving these gentle creatures the highest standard of care I can provide. Have you seen how down bad chat is? Rest assured that your fungi friends will be safe with me. Yes, it will be very I safe. Guess it's time for us to say goodbye. Oh. Go on, Twirly Whirly. Be a good fungus now and do everything that Hania says. But Zara, Mika will be back to visit when the next Beast Tamers tournament comes around. Oh. High five, Bongo Head. It was really fun having you around. Paimon hopes that you have a good time at Hania's and is really looking forward to seeing you again next time. We'll meet again, and that's a promise. I hope that the day when humans and fungi can live in harmony will come quickly. I believe in you all. You'll make it happen. I look forward to the good news. Hell yeah. Oh, that was cute. No, we're leaving the Pokemon. Okay, dude. Oh, you know when we play the new Pokemon game, dude, we have to call them after these four. Bongo Head, Blitzara, fucking uh, Hard Hat as well. <laughs> we have to call them after our fucking Genshin Pokemon. Oh, I'm so sad.